These three lions are Abidjan Zoo's latest residents. They're filling the void that was left after its previous felines died during the post-election violence of 2010. The lions died before our eyes because we had nothing to feed them. They only eat meat. We didn't even know how to feed ourselves. Only a handful of the zoo's residents survived, and conflict hasn't been the only killer. Around a dozen animals recently died from toxic waste poisoning, and a number of monkeys were also abandoned when owners feared they were carrying the Ebola virus. But despite experiencing challenges, the zoo's director is optimistic about the future. The National Zoo of Abidjan will become a zoo when all the international norms are in place. That means that all the animals in cages will be able to go into semi-natural areas, which are closed, but don't give the impression that a chimpanzee is in a prison. With zebras, giraffes and other cats expected to arrive soon, it's hoped the zoo will serve as a mini safari in the heart of Côte d'Ivoire's economic capital. The first few visitors haven't been disappointed. I see lions all the time on TV, but I've never seen them in real life. I feel blessed. I'm really happy. As one of West Africa's largest zoos dating back to the 1930s, there's also a cultural heritage to preserve. The arrival of the three cats is a symbol of the zoo's rebirth and gives some a glimmer of hope for a promising future. Clementine Logan, CCTV.